The university is bringing out new document sensitivity labels, and these are to help keep your content secure. These can be applied to documents, emails, and also SharePoint sites. The first label is unrestricted and is simply used to show that your content can be freely shared, published to the internet, or otherwise disseminated. The next is university only, and that means that your content will have to be accessed by someone with a University of Kent account. Even if it's sent to someone else, they won't be able to open it. Then we have university staff only, and that means that you need a University of Kent staff account to access the content. Finally, if you're a SharePoint site owner, you can apply a confidential label and that will prevent the site from being shared with anyone external to the university. To use the new labels, you can find the sensitivity button in the Home tab in either Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. You can also see it in the web apps, where it will either be labelled sensitivity or it may just appear as a small icon, depending on your screen size. Once you apply a label, you'll see a small indicator at the bottom of the document, and with the university only or university staff only labels, your document is automatically watermarked. You can also see the new sensitivity labels in Outlook, and if you apply them to an email, that email can't be forwarded on to anyone except people permitted by the label. As with documents, you can do this both in the desktop version and online. Lastly, if you're a SharePoint Online site owner, you can apply a sensitivity label to your site by going to Site Information. If you change this to Confidential, you won't be able to share your site with anyone external to the university. But you should still use the label on any documents in the site if they're sensitive.